Hello everyone, welcome back to DMARC DKIM. In this video, we are going to configure DNS records for Odoo and set these records into our DNS provider to authenticate the email domain. So let's start. First, you have to log into your DNS provider. My DNS provider is Cloudflare, so I have logged in my Cloudflare account. And now go to your websites, select your domain and look for an option of dns go to the records tab and here you have the dns dashboard click add record and now we can add odoo dns records you can find odoo dns records in their article the link is given in the description as well here all the information is given about what is spf dkim and dmark and here we have the spf value now we have to add this value to the DNS provider. Select type txt, write down your domain name in the name field and in the content field, paste the SPF value and you click save to add this record. But before saving it, make sure your DNS provider doesn't have an existing SPF. If there are two SPF records, one of them will stop working that is why we merge multiple SPF records to get a single combined value which contains the values of all records. For merging the SPF records, we use an SPF merge tool. Go to dmarkdkim.com and you can also find a link to this tool in the description. Here you have to write down your domain name, then add the Odoo SPF and click merge. The tool detects your existing SPF record and merges it with Odoo SPF to give a merged value. Just copy this merge value and edit your existing SPF value. Replace it with merge value and click save. Now let's move to the DKIM record. DKIM is a CNAME record and here this is the record name. You have to write down your domain name in place of mycompany.com so it says that if your domain is also your company name then you have to write down your domain name here and now copy the value add it in the target field and turn off the proxy status if proxy status is turned on it diverts the traffic to your DNS server instead of going to your email server. Now we have added the SPF and DKIM record. Next comes the DMARC record. So a basic DMARC value is given here which is for monitoring and it doesn't have destinations for the emails there the unauthorized emails will be going and this way you will not have insights into your email performance. Without the insights, you cannot implement a strict policy, hence your emails are not secure. That is why we have built a tool which not only helps you implement a strict policy, but it also gives you insights into your email performance so that you can take actions accordingly. Go to dmarkdkim.com, write down your domain name here and click check. This tool analyzes your domain and it gives you an initial monitoring value. Add this record to your DNS provider. Once the DMAF record is added, click sign up now to get access to the reports dashboard. You have to enter your business email to create your account here. After signing up, click on the red badge and scroll down to click check DNS records. It updates your DNS status and you see both badges are turned green. So when you add the record to your DNS provider, this tool starts generating the DMARC reports after 24 hours. You will be able to see the reports in the reports tab and in the DNS history tab, you can see all the records you have added to your domain so far. It means if you delete a DNS record from your DNS provider, it will still be available in the DNS history tab and you can recover them easily. After adding the DMARC record, 
your domain is now secure and your emails will not be going to the spam folder. I hope everything is clear. If you have any query, you can ask in the comment section. If you want our professional help for authenticating your domain or handling any DNS configurations, you can hire a dmarkdkim.com expert. Go to the link in the description to schedule a meeting with one of our experts and we are happy to help you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.